people prefer to buy products using Amazon these days because of its convenience, competitive pricing, and in most cases, fast or free shipping. Unfortunately, not everything that's available on Amazon is automatically good. So I spent the last few weeks looking for items that I can use for my desk setup, and I'm here to share with you some of my favorite Amazon finds. Desk shelves are a relatively new category that you previously could only get directly from premium brands, but they've finally made their way into Amazon. So the question is, are they any good? Well, this example is made out of composite wood. The manufacturer claims that it can hold up to 100 pounds, which, to be honest, I don't fully trust as it's not a solid wood top. However, I'm confident that it can at least hold a 27-inch or maybe even larger monitor as well as a laptop. In my case, I'm simply using it as a desk shelf for aesthetics and additional storage space since my monitor is too large to sit on top of it. Now this is nowhere near the quality of the premium desk shelves I've tried and you will definitely feel it once you have it in your hands. But if you're looking for something that simulates that wood look pretty well and is also functional, it's hard to beat this at $60. I've been using desk mats for the last four years and one thing's for certain, not all desk mats are made the same and there's a reason why some command such a high price. But this large gaming mouse pad I think is worth considering. This one is sized at 35.4 by 15.7 inches and it has stitched edges to prevent fraying. It literally feels like a very big mouse pad which is quite pleasant to the touch and also means that it's pretty durable and also water resistant. It has a non-slip rubber base which keeps it in place but best of all it has no logos on it. And that's just something that I prefer. For $18, it's an easy recommendation. My full-sized keyboard was starting to fail on me, so I was in the market for a new one. I've recently tried Logitech's MX Mechanical for Macs, so I decided to get the full-sized version, and this time in dark gray. This has tactile quiet switches, giving me just enough feedback and sound to be satisfying. The low profile makes it comfortable to type on, and just like with other Logitech keyboards, it has programmable keys and multi-device support. I especially like the smart illumination, which you can also customize using the Logi Options app. It's a bit expensive at $170, and I know keyboard enthusiasts are going to say that I could have gotten something better, but honestly, I like the MX Mechanical so much that this was an easy pick for me. And no, this video is not sponsored by Logitech at all. This 3-in-1 wireless charger caught my attention for its design and the fact that you can fold it away when not in use. It's actually very lightweight, which isn't my favorite since it moves around when you try to attach or detach your phone. But I do like the way it looks and how you are able to change the angle for easy viewing. The bottom also lights up green when charging your phone and turns blue once it's fully charged. It can deliver a maximum power of 15 watts for phones, 5 watts for AirPods, and 2.5 watts for Apple Watches. Laptop stands are useful if you want to save some desk space. While some of them make the ports a bit more accessible, for the most part, it really is just an aesthetic choice. I'm using this aluminum stand painted in gold with some silicon inserts to protect my MacBook from scratches, and it looks pretty premium for something that costs around $30. Oh, and it's also very lightweight. The tripods I'm using for the HomePod minis are purely for looks, but I think they do add a bit more character to the speakers, especially when sitting on a nice wooden tabletop. Another staple for almost any desk setup is a headphone stand. This one stood out to me because I just thought it looked interesting. The base is metal, which is ideal to keep it from falling over, and I like the included hooks in case you use wired headphones. The top part is made out of real wood, although I do not like the fact that it only sits on top, which means it rotates. A little annoying, but otherwise I think the design looks good and interesting. By the way, in case you haven't seen my previous video about my new modular electronic sit-stand desk, you should go give it a watch because I'm certain you've never seen a desk like it before. I'll link the video at the top of the screen and in the description box below so you can find it easily. So I'm not a keyboard aficionado by any means, but I do have a couple laying around. This display rack keeps my spare keyboards and mice tidy, 
and actually looks really cool next to my setup. It's made out of plastic with a mixture of matte and gloss finish, and I think it looks really great having peripherals displayed like this versus just being tucked away. One of the simplest but most useful tools I've discovered lately is this cube timer. Managing my time has always been a struggle, and instead of having to set alarms on my phone to allot to a certain task, I can simply flip this cube to the desired time and it will sound once the timer runs out. If I'm not using it, I simply have the blank side facing upwards. Useful for just about anything that needs to be timed, including workouts, cooking, and daily tasks. And using a timer for different tasks really does help with your productivity, plus you can take this just about anywhere. I actually featured this webcam in a previous video, but I keep getting asked about it, so I thought I'd just add it to the list. This is the Insta360 Link, which is a 4K webcam with a gimbal-like design. It's a plug-and-play camera with some really cool features such as AI tracking, gesture controls, and customizable settings. And it also has a built-in microphone, which is what you're listening to right now. But the most impressive part is how good the footage actually looks. It's not cheap at $300, but this is by far the best webcam I've used. And if you value image quality for your video conferences or even for live streaming, you have got to give this camera a try. Just a reminder that this video is not sponsored, but I do have affiliate links of all the products that I covered in this video listed down below in the description box. Anytime you make a purchase through these links, you are helping fund the making of videos such as this, so I'd like to say thanks in advance. With the rise of remote work, many people are looking for ways to make their home office environment more comfortable and productive. Amazon is a great place to find products that can help elevate the work from home experience. Reading customer reviews can provide valuable insights into how products perform in real world settings. But sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and try them out yourself. With a little bit of research and exploration, you can really find some hidden gems among the millions of listings found on their site. That said, I'm always on the lookout for products that can improve the experience of working remotely. So if you have any other suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying the content on this channel and want to see more, please consider subscribing and enabling notifications. It's a great way to support the channel and help me continue to create high quality content for you. I appreciate the support and I hope to see you again next time.